this is our video number three on uh, direct material procurement cycle in SAP. In the first part of the video, we created the purchase acquisition, and in the second part of the video, we uh, we converted that purchase acquisition into a purchase order. So in this part three, we are going to post the good receipt. The transaction code for the good receipt is MIGO. In the second part, we issue a purchase order to our supplier and assume it that, uh, that on the delivery date, that on the uh, whatever the uh, that the very next day we receive the order from our uh, from our supplier. So we are receiving the goods. So now we need to post the good receipt with the reference to our purchase order. So when uh, we are posting this good receipt, so we will copy this. Uh, we will copy the, uh, our purchase order. So it will copy all that details from purchase order into our good receipt. So whenever we are posting a good receipt in SAP, two documents are generated. One is the material document and the other one is accounting document. To view the report of your material document, we can use this transaction code, which is MB51. And if you want to display your accounting document in SAP, so we're going to use the transaction code MR51. So how to uh, record how to post this good receipt in SAP now? We need to go in the logistics. In logistics, we have materials management. In materials management, we need to go in inventory management. Either you can use the transaction code MIGO directly or you can use this SAP menu. So in inventory management, we have goods movement. In goods movement, you can use this MIGO or you can go uh, in the goods receipt for purchase order and you can use this transaction code MIGO underscore GR for goods receipt. You can press enter or you can double click this MIGO. So from here, you need to select that uh, you don't want to display, we're gonna receive the goods, so good receipt. And here we're gonna select the purchase order and here you need to select your purchase order number so open it and uh, i'm going to enter our purchase organization which is md12 press enter so our purchase order number is uh, 17250 enter press tab you need to enter the uh, the plant which is md12 and then execute and remember that is a, the moment type uh, that is one zero one. So execute. So when we execute, uh, the entire details are copied from this purchase order number. So that is the document date. Whenever you are receiving that uh, the item, the material, that uh, the goods receipt, that is our posting date. Uh, that is the plastic sheet. The quantity is one hundred kg. That is a moment type. That is a stock type which is unrestricted in the plant and that is the aluminium and that is the item detail here that the material tab uh, that is a material name that is a material number the material group that is the quantity and where we can mention that we are saving in our storage location which is m1 which is the, uh, the by storage location then uh, you can press enter so that is our Dubai plant storage location number one. That is a purchase order information. That is our purchase order. And that is a partner. And that is the freight we are charging. So similarly, if you want to check for this aluminum sheet, you can click on this line item. You can click on this too. So here you can see all that information related with this aluminum sheet. So that is the quantity. The quantity we order 50, uh, 500, and we are receiving 500 also. And uh, here you need to mention the storage location, which is M1. Press enter. So it is there. So you need to check. All items are checked. You need to click this item. OK. And uh, then you can check this option. And when you check this, a message will come at the at the status bar the bottom okay so when we check this one the message will come document is okay so there is no error so we need to save it now 
or you can click uh, control s to save or post or you can click this uh, icon to post so when you po uh, once you posted this uh, two documents will be generated one is our material document the material document number will appear here at the bottom and the other one is our accounting document so this is our material document which is posted uh, 990 and uh, if you want to display the accounting document also so because the two documents are generated one is our material document which is uh, 97,990 that is our material document and if you want to display uh, the accounting document you can go one step back enter and uh, you can click on this display this is our material document number and execute when you execute the entire material document, uh, that the document will appear here. And uh, you need to click this document information. And here we have this FI documents. So click this FI documents. So when you click this FI document, this window will uh, this window will open. And uh, here you can double click this. This is our accounting document five thousand one. You can double click this, this accounting document, and it will show us the accounting document. So this is our accounting document. You can also uh, see this accounting document that is right now in the end view. You can click here to view this in the journal ledger view. So this is how you can check your accounting document report. You can go one step back. you can display your uh, this is our material document number and uh, you can go in the document information fi document and you can see your accounting document and if you want you can also use the transaction code to view your material document and accounting document in sap which is mr51 uh, mb51 is for material document and mr51 if you want to see your accounting document so how to display this you need to go in logistics materials management in inventory management we have environment in environment we have list display displays and here we have this mb51 enter so when you are uh, when you press enter here you can see the list of your material document so you can use this uh, uh, the material wise or you can select only the plant also so execute it will give us the list of all the material document which are posted in uh, this plant MD12 so this is our material document which is uh, 9900 we posted this today so double click So this is our material document number similarly if you want to display the accounting document you can use the transaction code which is mr51 so press enter or you can double click this mr51 and uh, you can execute so this 501 that is uh, 5001 that is our accounting document you can double click and you can view this information so this is how you uh, you post the good receipt and uh, you can display your reports in SAP. Now the last step is that uh, we want to uh, we need to check that the stock overview report because uh, if you check the plastic sheet that that is one five four eight that uh, that in the stock we have one thousand pieces right now and we already received another one thousand so you can refresh it. And uh, you can see the status here that now it, now in our stock we have 2,000 pieces uh, 2,000 quantity of plastic sheet so to view this stock overview you can use the transaction code which is double M D E or you can use the menu path also you can go in logistics in logistics we have materials management in materials management uh, you can go in the material master in material master we have this other 
and in other we have this MMPP. And you can enter your material number 1157 that is your plant and execute. So it will open the stock overview report uh, that now uh, in our stock we have uh, this much amount of uh, aluminium sheet available right now 1050. In which uh, in our storage location 1 we have 950 pieces and in our storage location 2 we have 1, uh, 100 pieces.